Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is David A. Stone and welcome to another exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills. Behind me is my kitchen here at Stonehaven that I built and now I'm gonna show you how I built it. This was back in 2016 and I never actually published these videos, so let's do this. All right, so I'm doing an unboxing of this uh, Craig Jig K4. And I got this over at Home Depot. It was a nice package. And this is everything that comes with the package now. I just threw a two by four in here so you can kind of see the clamping mechanism. But <clears throat> basically you have a block here that has all your different measurements on it for your heights. And it slides in just like that. You match it up to the height that you need for the or the width of the board, the thickness of the board. Then I have these, uh, you get the three pamphlets, owner's manual, and how to build a bookshelf, that's kind of cool. Um, you got some, some plugs that you can use to plug your holes if you have finish work, which um, I'm definitely, I'm not even gonna need that for this job, but it might be nice. Then they included a, quite a bit of different screws at different lengths with the Craig hole jig head. Um, which is a square head, so it doesn't strip out. These are fine. These are fine thread. These are coarse thread. Um, they included a whole extra packet of screws. There's a spacer block here. A little kind of probably something that you could just clamp on somewhere and do one little hole. Um, here's the bit with the square tip. Here's the blade with the dip. If you can see that. Right there, you can see where it goes flat and it drills in, so it allows a, a nice pilot hole and pocket hole for that. And then here's the collar that wraps around the drill bit to get the proper stop in the wood. You get to measure that out using the guide. Um, you got an Allen wrench, and then this is a little screw that uh, screws this on tight. So I also, this didn't come in the kit, but I bought this as well. This is a right angle clamp from Craig. And this actually allows you, when you drill the pocket holes, to clamp a corner together because this will go inside one of the holes and then it'll just clamp on. So you can clamp the corner before you even screw it in, put your first screw in, let your clamp go, and then you're good to go. So this is a nice little buy, about 30 bucks. <clears throat> but this whole kit was $100. It was $99 at Home Depot. Uh, I think it's gonna be a very useful kit. I see a lot of people using it online right now and they're getting a lot of use out of it. So basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start cutting and uh, I'm gonna drill some holes and brace up that cabinet. All right, so I popped the directions open just to see how to set this, uh, this thing up. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab this little pin, screw pin you're gonna to wanna to adjust your measurements. So since I have a two by four board, that's an inch and a half thick, which is the max thickness for this jig. So you wanna put the pin right in the back here. You wanna secure it down really well. You know, choose your screw. If you have soft woods, you want a coarse thread screw. If you have hard woods, you want a fine thread screw. That's what it's telling me. So now we got to set the depth stop on the drill bit. So material thickness is one and a half inches. Screw length, I need to use a two and a half inch screw. I also bought some additional screws. And these are the additional screws that I bought. So I got one inch, one and a half, two, and two and a half. And I got all these coarse thread. So it's telling me right here that if I'm gonna cut one, uh, material thickness one and a half inches, which is a two by four, I need a two and a half inch screw. So I'm gonna have to use these ones and I need the one and a half inch mark to set the Craig jig setting. So I got the one and a half inch mark there. I got my two and a half inch screws that I'll be using. Put these ones over here for now. 
And then this shows you to position the stop collar. This jig here has, a, has an area where you put the collar over the bit, just like, you loosen it up a little bit. And then, I stick this line, the, the line on the drill bit, up to this, the line of the thickness of my board. So that's gonna be right there. So the depth stop will slide right up in there. Here you see that? So you, you position this flat piece. Okay, so you're gonna position the flat part of the drill bit tip on the thickness of your board. So I'm gonna put that right there where it says one half. No, 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 I need to be one and a half inches. So I actually need to slide this almost all the way up, just right to there. And then I push the depth stop right in the little groove. So it just makes it a very simple. And then you just tighten down your collar Just like that. So now that's depth stop. So as I run it through, it's only going to go that far. See that? When you drill through, boom, it drills that hole and that hole. Leave some room on the bottom for it to bite into the board and bite into the next board. <clears throat> and then you adjust, adjust this clamp pad here. Um, yeah, so this, this right here has a screw setting to where you could screw this in and out to attach to the different, and then you would tighten it with your little nut here. So you go into the full clamp setting, put your board in there, full clamp setting, and that's not... There, it, it'll clamp down right there, but say it was screwed in a little bit more, it wouldn't clamp down. So you need to unscrew it. And for thinner boards, you just unscrew it more. And you test it. Okay, that's pretty good. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, once it's nice and tight, you'll screw down this little collar just to tighten it up. And clamp it down. Let's do a little test, test drill on this piece to see what we got going on. So it's, it's good to clamp this down to a workstation when you're when you're using it, but as for right now, I'm just gonna hold it. I'm gonna take these two, these different holes are for different sizes of boards. So for a two by four, I'm gonna to wanna to use, to use these two outside holes. I don't need to use this one. For a thinner board, you could use those two. Um, and sometimes you can use those two. So there's different kind of guide settings and you can check all that out in the instructions. Two beautiful pocket holes. Check that out. So let's uh, try to attach this to another sample board. All 
All right, so now that we got our pocket holes drilled, I'm gonna show you how to use that right angle clamp that I bought as well. It's a nifty piece of equipment. So I'll put these up together so I can get a flush mount without having to use anything else, just these two pocket screws. And I'll kind of uh, make it pretty, pretty close. And I'll take my little clamp. And I'll put it in the hole. I'll loosen this up. And you, first you just, oh, thanks. My dad's helping me out here. Stick it in the hole. And then you just clamp it to the board. And to loosen it up a little bit more. So now you put, kind of put it in place and clamp it there. Just like that. See how that holds it really nicely even without any screws in it? So now you can, you can put this down here and I can put that first screw in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my bits. And I'm gonna grab the two and a half inch screws. These big boys. And as you can see on this screw, a couple things about it. it has a square head, but there's only threads on the bottom part. There's no threads up here. That's because as it goes through the wood, it's actually just gonna be sitting on the main board here, and this is what's gonna be gripping and eating into the other piece. So when I put this in, this is going to be angled like that on the inside. So it'll kind of really hit a lot of meat of the board. You really want to try to angle these in towards the meat of the board, and you don't want to flip this around and put the pot. If you put the pocket holes on the inside, it'll go that way and it'll it'll eat into the edge of the board, which you can do and it will provide a grip. But if you need something very secure, you want to you want to eat into the meat of the board. So you'd put it on the outside, and that's that's why you'd use the hole fillers if you wanted to to make that smooth. But so. Let's just put this on here. And this is a nice magnetic tip here too. And it just fits right in there, a big, nice, and it, it holds on there pretty nice too. And you stick it in the hole. Boom. Let's use one more. So now we can unclamp it, because the clamp held it as if this was the screw. Pull it out of the hole there. Put the other one in. Boom. Nothing on the back side. Look at that joint. Boy, is it strong, actually. I'm ripping, I'm pulling on it. And there's nothing. So, the beauty of the Craig jig, two holes. And so, if you want to use these finished pieces, you can pull these finished pieces out and you would just slide them right in there and glue them in, boom. Then you could wood glue over it, fill in the hole, you're good to go. See these little fillers? See these little fillers. This is gonna go in there if you want. Glue them in. <laughs> That's sweet. Oh yeah, that's not going anywhere. <clears throat> that's solid like it was made that way. <laughs> So that's a little quick tutorial on the pocket jig, and now I'm going to actually cut my material, drill my holes, and brace the cabinets over there. I'm going to take these screws out though because I want to keep them. can. <laughs> They're in there so good. There it is.
Where's my sink brace? This is going to be braced on my cabinet like, oh shoot, did I do the wrong side? I guess I could get under there and do it, but yeah, I actually did the wrong side. But on this side, that's going to be up against a board here. I think I could probably pocket hold that and see if that'll work. Maybe not. I think that'll probably work with the two and a halfers. Yeah, that'll bite in. Okay, so I cut this piece here and I put the pocket holes on the wrong side but I think I could still get down there from the bottom so this one I'm gonna slide in the hole and I'll, I'll set it with these screws first
Now I put this right here, as you can see, I said brace center. So that's the center of where the plywood meets. So now as when I screw everything down, I can actually get hit the meat of it on both sheets here. So, um, and then my, sink, my, my faucet, I'm gonna probably have to drill a hole right around in here, straight down for the faucet. So I might kinda, I just have to make sure that I don't hit this screw here. Otherwise I could take this screw out and screw another one in there. 